everyone, I'm Roberto Blake, and today we're gonna to be diving in to the adjustment layers tool and how we can use it for crop effects in Premiere Pro. Have you ever wanted to get that great wide angle crop effect on your videos, but you didn't wanna to have to sit there and do it for every single individual piece of footage in your timeline? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we can do this for one of my product showcases of a new camera. I'm also gonna show you how you can keyframe this crop effect so that you can actually have a nice cinematic opening. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new adjustment layer. Go to File, New, and then select Adjustment Layer in Premiere Pro, and it's gonna add it to your bin. You also can do this manually by right-clicking in the bin and doing exactly the same thing. New Item Adjustment Layer. We're gonna drag our adjustment layer to our timeline in Premiere Pro. We're gonna make sure that it sits above all of our footage. We're then going to extend it to the length of our timeline. Now we have our adjustment layer, we can actually go ahead and use the crop effect in Premiere Pro. Just go to your effects panel and then type in crop in the search bar and you'll find it right away. We're gonna drag this effect onto our adjustment layer and then with our adjustment layer selected, we're gonna see the effect controls in Premiere Pro. We're gonna to wanna to scroll to our crop effect, and this is where things get really interesting. We have the ability to crop any part of our footage. We can crop the sides, we can crop the top or the bottom, any of it. In this case, because we want that wide angle cinematic look, we're gonna end up cropping just the top and the bottom here. When you're setting your keyframes, be sure that the playhead starts at the beginning of the timeline in order to correctly keyframe your effect. We're gonna click these toggle animation icons. They look like stopwatches, and we're gonna go ahead and select the top and the bottom. And that's gonna actually be the beginning of our video. And we're gonna keyframe across this to be able to create our opening. And then I'm gonna show you how we can do the same thing at our closing. So initially, we're going to set the top and the bottom to 50% each. And what that's gonna do is it's going to initially black out our screen. We're gonna go a few frames over and then we're going to add new keyframes. We're gonna do that for both the top and for the bottom and we're gonna change this from 50% to 12%. You can make these values whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever creates the look that you want, but we're just gonna go with 12% in this example. And so when we play that, it opens up and you can see that it creates that crop effect. And we could stop right there if we wanted to, but I thought it'd be cool for us to go ahead and end with that same effect and close it back up going to black. So what we're gonna do is here toward the end of our scene, we're going to go ahead and set some new keyframes and they're gonna go ahead and be at 12%. Then we're gonna go ahead and in our timeline tool, we're gonna go to our outro. You could also do this with Shift O, and that's gonna take us to the last frame here in our sequence. Then we're gonna add a new set of keyframes, and we're gonna change this to 50% each. And that's gonna create the same effect as our intro. It's just gonna be in reverse, where we're using it to close out. And that works out really well. So we like how that looks. What I'm gonna do now to finish this all off is I just want this to feel a little bit more seamless. So what we're going to do is we're going to select these keyframes. We're going to right click and then we're going to click ease in for our intro and we're gonna do the same thing but select ease out for our outro and that's gonna give us a little bit of a smoother animation in terms of those keyframes for our crop. So going back to the beginning, looks wonderful. Let's see how this all came out when we put it together. And there you go, a non-destructive way to edit and use the crop tool with adjustment layers in Premiere Pro. You can do all kinds of really interesting effects with adjustment layers that allow you to apply a seamless effect across multiple pieces of footage in your timeline. It's actually one of my favorite tips and tricks for Premiere Pro and why it is my go-to video editor. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on the crop tool and adjustment layers. I really enjoyed making it. Make sure you're checking out the rest of the Learn From The Pro series here from Adobe. And of course, stay awesome and keep creating. Thank you.